Hey guys, Ben here from Find A Way Photography. I just wanted to give you a quick tour around the new Aurora HDR 2018. Um, so it's just been released. Um, you can pre-order it now. Um, and it brings a few changes with it. Uh, not too much, but I'll, I'll go through the changes and give you my thoughts on it. And, and then you can download a trial for yourself and give it a shot. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll have some links below where you can um, check out a little bit more information. And I've also done a full review on my site. I'm a, kind of a written review with a, a little bit more detail, so feel free to check that out as well. And the link will be down in the description. Um, so this is um, inside of Aurora right now. Um, here is a photo that I actually took earlier this morning down at the Wanaka tree. Um, and I'm currently living in Wanaka um, here for another couple of months. So so snuck down there early this morning and just couldn't help myself. So had to um, do a quick edit of it when I got home and thought I'd show you show you Aurora while we're at it. Um, so it's already edited up, so we'll just kind of go through Aurora and tell you what's changed and go from there. Um, probably the biggest thing that lots of people are talking about is that it's now finally available for Windows. Um, it's been made, Aurora is made by a company called MacFun, and um, hence the name, they, they've always made software specifically for Macs. Um, but there's been a lot of demand for Aurora um, from the Windows community, so it's finally available. Um, so, so if you're a Windows user, then welcome aboard and welcome to the party. Otherwise, um, otherwise, not much changes there if you're already on a Mac anyways. Um, the other big thing that's changed is just the look of, of the program. Um, the interface and, and that sort of thing has changed. Um, so a little bit, you know, different text. It's a little bit crisper. Um, the sliders are a little bit less bulky and big. Um, all of this EXIF data and that sort of thing that used to be up along the top here is now over on the right-hand side. Um, you know, a, a little bit of a different look, but not much really functionally cha changes other than that. Um, uh, one thing that it has been added to the interface that is quite nice is this history area. So you can kind of go back and undo changes with this button, or you can show the full history here of all of the different changes that you've made and you can go back a few steps or forward a few steps. Um, so it's all non-destructive now, which is really nice. Um, other than that, um, not much changes there. Um, the other thing, probably the biggest thing that I've noticed has changed is they've they've made a few changes to things like the algorithm and the speed of the program and that sort of thing. And with that, um, one of my biggest complaints used to be that you would move these sliders around and everything would feel a little bit glitchy. And you'd actually um, move the slider up or down and the whole, the photo would actually become blurry for a second as it kind of loaded and reloaded the changes you were making. So making little fine changes with the slider um, one way or the other was really difficult because the photo would go blurry and then it would load and by the time it loaded you couldn't really see the changes that were made because um, it was so distracting. So they finally changed that. Um, so I was really happy to see that. So that's that's no longer an issue. Um, the other thing that they've added here are um, these two buttons. So one is the trans uh, to do transformations and that sort of thing. So you can Know, kind of rotate the photo one way or the other, horizontal or the other way. Um, so it comes in handy every now and then, but um, definitely not something that you use on every photo. And then the other one here is just a lens correction. So things like distortion, chromatic aberration, and vignetting and stuff like that, um, you're able to correct with Aurora now. Um, not that it makes a huge difference. And again, you're probably not going to use it on every single photo, but it is there if you ever need it. Um, and we've also, you know, we've got a change here. Um, this HDR enhanced slider wasn't there before. There used to be one at the very top called HDR look. Um, it seems to do kind of the same thing. Um, HDR enhanced doesn't seem quite as intense as the last one. So that's nice. Um, other than that, not much really changes there and scrolling down. We've got, you know, everything, everything here down looks pretty much the same. This HDR structure panel is quite a bit different. Um, there's no clarity slider anymore. All these start at zero before they used to start in the middle, so you could kind of go down from where you were or up. So this just starts you right at zero. Um, and it kind of changes the functionality of this as well. It doesn't do quite quite the same thing that the last one did. 
Um, so whether that's better or worse, I'm not too sure yet, but, but that is definitely a change. HDR denoise is the same, radiance, nothing's really changed through all of these. Um, glow, the, you can, you know, they've changed how this is set up. It used to be one on top of the other, but now it's just two buttons to flip between the two. Um, but again, not much really functionally changes there. Uh, tone curves and HL, H, HSL panel that we know and love is all the same. Um, same with color toning. Um, it's changed a little bit, but not really, nothing really functionally. Uh, the dodge and burn section is all completely new. So this is really nice and handy. Um, you, you kind of kind of change the amount of the effect that you've applied here. Um, and then you just um, hit this start painting button, pops up with a menu up here, and you're able to change the strength of the, the brush that you're using, the size of the brush, or you can just use the square bracket up and down. And then you go lighten, darken, or erase. And that's what dodging and burning is. Um, dodge means lighten, burn means darken, basically. And so click one of these. If you want to lighten an area and say we want to do the mountains in the back, maybe you just brush it on. If you want to change the strength of that brush that you're doing or the size, um, that sort of thing, you could do that here. I'm not sure what just happened with it going all glitchy, um, but once you're done, you'd hit done there. It would load. Um, I think it's just having a little think about what just happened. I'm trying to take it all in. Um, so moving on to the next um, thing, you've got vignette down here. And again, not much has really changed there. So that's, um, we'll just turn that off. Now it's really having a, a headache. But we won't worry too much about that. Um, so that's that's the new Aurora HDR 2018. Um, going through a couple of the changes and and um, and giving you a quick tour. Um, so if you have any questions, shoot me an email. There's some links down below if you're watching this on YouTube. Um, check out my full review on my website, and um, we'll go from there. Thanks.